it's Jennifer Rosebrick of historicalsewing.com. I get asked so often how you sit down in a bustle dress. When I post a picture of a beautiful antique bustle dress from the 1870s or 1880s, um, people ask, how do you sit down in that? How did they wear it? How did they move in it? But sitting down is always the problem because in a bustle dress you have all of this stuff that's in the back. And how really do you sit in a chair? So I wanted to give you a quick tutorial today that you really can sit down in a bustle dress and here's how you do it. I'm only wearing uh, my undergarments and I have a lobster tail bustle on along with one petticoat. And I did this instead of a full dress so that you can see a little bit more of what happens when you actually sit down. This, it's the same process, um, you just put on the layer of the dress itself, but it will look the same and it behaves the same as, the, as you get to the chair. The best thing that you want to do is find a chair without arms. There's, you know, every event is different that you go to, but if you can find a chair without arms, that is the way to go. Chairs with arms are a little bit unwieldy with big skirts, uh, so that's what you want to look for. You want to approach the chair, you want to turn around. What happens is that the wires of your bustle collapse up onto itself. This makes it really easy to sit down, and that's what happens when you do. And so they're going to collapse. Approach the chair. You can also, with, with your calf, you can feel the back of the chair so you know exactly where that is. Approach the chair, you can pick up a little bit the wires that are right around hip level, right where your hands are, you can pick them up slightly, feel the chair with your calf, and then sit down into about the middle of the chair. All of the bustle collapses, you can see it's sticking out right here, so there's several inches between me and the, in the back of the chair. Um, and it's just going to pile up here. It also, you can't sit back into a chair. You can't sit all the way back because you have too much stuff here, which is why you perch on the end of the chair. Also, you want to have a good corset on as well, and that'll help support your back when you are sitting in the chair so that you don't actually require the support of the back of the chair. And it's all right here. The other good point to have is to have someone hold the chair. This is why it's important to have a gentleman attend you to events. They can hold your chair. It's not just to, as a courtesy for them uh, to be nice to the lady, but it's actually to support you while you're sitting down. So if you have a gentleman hold the chair in place, you will feel more comfortable when you approach that chair that the chair is just not going to slip and you end up on the floor in the big pile of your dresses. So allow someone, even if you have a friend, it's always nice to have someone support that chair. And again, you just turn around and gently set yourself down. Now don't go really fast, like plunk yourself down on a couch or a sofa, like we do in our modern clothes. It's all about perching on the end of the chair and relaxing down into it slowly and gently so that everything is arranged. If you're sitting in a group, um, like at a table, like a dinner party, there's really not much we can do. Usually the chairs are really squished together. Sometimes you do have arms on those chairs. You just have to squish as best as you can. Bring your skirts up to the side, pick a side, whichever's more comfortable for you. Kind of perch sideways a little bit more onto the edge of the chair, like this, so that your bustle sticks out to the side. And then you can wrap up the skirts over your lap if you're really in tight corners um, with other people and other people with bustle skirts as well. And that is how you sit down in a bustle. Uh, good luck in trying it on your own. They're really a lot of fun. Um, and yeah, thanks for watching so much. Thank you. Take care.